So hey guys, we're partaking in a collaboration series called Frugal Family Food. It's basically a series that involves a lot of other YouTube channels. They all put together a little video on a meal idea, something that can be put together on a budget, or maybe something that comes out of your garden. And uh, just, just a real great thing. This was put together by Tangi over at Tangi the Caver's Wife's channel, as well as Amanda over at the Fundamental Homestead. Great channels. Um, I'll put a link to their Facebook group, as well as the playlist for all the channels that are involved in this, there's a nice playlist that you can go from one video to the next. Before we dive into this, I did really want to touch on kind of why we're sharing this recipe and it really comes down to seasonal stuff. A lot of you guys know we've been spending a lot of time over the last couple weeks getting stuff out of our garden. I think that's like one of the hardest things about getting a garden or running a garden is just the preserving side of stuff. And we're not quite ready to dive into that stuff yet. So we've been working on putting the garden to bed here and as we're going through kind of noticing a few other areas that we can kind of go back and clean up a little bit better or things that are just coming ready. When I was pulling a lot of our green beans, we usually leave one row that we can harvest for seeds, but I noticed there's a lot of decent green beans still left on there. They're not too big, uh, or they pick up sort of that woody texture. So we'll go out and harvest some of those. I noticed that we got a lot of watermelon that's just starting to get ready. We've been dealing with tomatoes like crazy here lately, so we'll find a way to incorporate that as much as I want to avoid dealing with tomatoes at this moment. We're going to use red potatoes, and the reason we're using red potatoes, we end up canning a lot of our red potatoes, shredding and freezing uh, some of the other varieties, and then we saved a bunch of each one's whole as well. We found that whole red potatoes tend not to last as long as some of the other varieties, so we try to use those up in the, early, or the fall to early winter months. So that's why we're using red potatoes. And the main focus of this video isn't really going to be on the sides, it's going to be on the herb crusted chicken. So you can obviously swap that out with something that makes sense, whether it's already in your cabinet or something that's coming out of your garden or something maybe that you find on sale at the grocery store. Uh, the chicken breasts, those are uh, from the Rainbow Rangers that we raised and processed this year. I think the main things that have not come from our property here is one, one of the seasons. We normally use a spice called Fox Point by Penzies. It's one of our favorite spices, but we don't even have any of that. So we're going to use some sort of Italian spice. Uh, but that's normally what we use in place of that. And then some of the dairy products, uh, butter, milk, cheese. So with that, um, those are items that came out of store, but if you got a cow or a goat or something, you could probably find ways to get that in there and uh, kind of complete the rest of this recipe here. Uh, I will say that we are gonna cook in butter, sort of old country style cooking. If that's not your thing and you're looking for more of a healthy solution, you probably swap that out for maybe something like coconut oil or. Uh, an oil of your choice. So when selecting your skillet, you're gonna want something a little deep because after we get done cooking up the chicken, we're gonna make a bunch of sauce in here and we wanna have a place for that to store without spewing out.
I put it on the trailer. 